Maker's beard. The rumors are true. A horseman in the Forge Lands. The name's Alia, and that's my brother Valis. We are the keepers of this forge. Though I reckon that means less now than once it did. This is a Maker's Forge? Nay, the Maker's Forge is lost to us. Silenced by the hands of corruption. But in its depths we once crafted the dark towers of hell and the cities of heaven. Now you make trinkets? <laughs> and you, one of the four, now seek the aid of the Makers? I guess we've all fallen from high places. I came here seeking the tree and your elder speaks of fire. What is it? Aye, the fire of the mountain, the Stonefather's blood. It once flowed into our forge, as did the tears. Both imbued our craft with incredible power, the heart and the soul of stone. But corruption has taken them and now our forge is silent. Why does this concern me? The way to the tree is lost, barred by corruption. You can no more leave this place than we. Restore our forge, and the tree can be reached. I don't follow your reasoning. We are makers, not warriors. But we are not without our weapons. Before the forge was lost, we crafted a mighty creature of soul and stone. A colossus to fight this corruption. But to awaken him requires a maker's key. And we need our forge to craft one. Will you help us? What is this cauldron? A temple built in the shadow of Stonefather's Peak. There, the fire of the mountain was harnessed and passed into our forge. Ride east of town, ride through the charred pass, and towards the cindery peak of the Stone Father. There, you will find the cauldron. Man of no words, your brother. <laughs> but hardly silent. His voice is the ring of the hammer and the roar of the white flame. Yes, he works while you talk. I may have need of a blade. Is your need greater than ours, horseman? I think not. We fight for the survival of our realm and our kin. Prove worthy, and mayhaps we can do business. The fire is more valuable than I, horseman. You should make haste to the temple. Fire alone won't save your realm. You speak of the forge. Aye. Without the fire and the tears of the mountain, without the forge itself, we have no means to clear the forest and reach the tree of life. What then? Our power is over creation, yours over death and despair. You are Nephilim, Lord of Destruction. Perhaps in that, there is hope. Just how old is the forge? It is as ancient as the realm itself, and perhaps even older. It is said the forge was the first thing we makers built, that in its depths we shaped entire worlds. <laughs> Farewell for now. Hm. The Reaper. It's about time you came. The makers are dying, and our realm. We few are all that remain. A warrior's life is never easy, old one. Aye, not easy, but simple. I always saw my end with blade in hand, a field of enemy dead before me. And what glorious end awaits you hiding behind these gates? Uh, you cannot fight corruption, nor can you harm it. You can only kill those it has claimed. Every blow I strike against corruption is a blow against my own people. Muse on that, Ryder, before you mark me as a coward. Do what you must for your kin, old one. For mine, I ride to the cauldron. Horseman, you'll find not that way, but trouble. Well, if you fancy your corruption waste deep, that's as good a place as any. You know, there's a reason this gate is here. And if you were a friend, I wouldn't have let you pass. But then, <laughs> who is friend to death? Have you wisdom to share, or was it long since knocked loose in battle? The wisdom ain't like teeth. I've plenty left. Enough to stay clear of the cauldron. The ancients filled it with right nasty traps. But one so clever as yourself will surely elude them. <laughs>
Where there is a lock, there is a key. The journey so far. In the beginning, death sought the Crow Father, but what he found was something more. A secret once forgotten. A path to another world. Greetings, horseman, and welcome. I've been expecting you. Vulgrim. What brings you crawling out of the shadows? <laughs> I wouldn't want to lose my most valuable customer. Not to what lurks at the edge of shadows. So here I am, to offer my wares. What do you know that I don't? I'm not here by choice, demon. I merely followed the trail of carnage. Your blades are as sharp as ever. Even still, I may be able to help you. I carry things others would frown upon. Go on, take a look. Another time, demon. Until then, Perhaps you'll grant me a small indulgence. There are pages missing from the Book of the Dead. I believe many lie along your path. If you bring them to me, your reward will be substantial. And so will be my damnation.
be true. A rider has come to the realm. Mm, not another one. You're the Nephilim, the one they call Death. How did you get here? Took a wrong turn. It appears I'm stranded here with the rest of you. If you seek the cauldron, you should know that it fell to corruption fair long ago. I can still feel the fire itself rumbling deep in the earth. I'll take my chances. Say, if you're headed in there, you mind doing something for me? Yes, I mind. Aren't I doing enough already? Perhaps. Though it seems to me you're doing right enough for yourself. Our benefit being a fortunate side effect. Well, if it ain't much trouble, I, I left an old metal platter in there, with the image of two hammers scribed in the center. Not much to look at, but uh, it was my journeyman piece. Last thing I ever forged. A dish? You want me to bring you a dish? Yes. Well, it has sentimental value. If you find it, I'll make it worth your while. More different than the others. Less pleasant on the eyes, for one. Ha! <laughs> I could say no less for you. Folks around town call me Pup or Lad. But I prefer my own name. Carl. Pup it is, then. As you will. Matters not to me. Why not restore the fire yourself? I came here just for that purpose. Figured I'd pop the cork, so to speak. Be the hero. But the cauldron is locked up well and tight, and the way through is swallowed by fire. You look capable enough. Perhaps you can find a way. I'll wait here and guard the entrance.
Hmm. <gasps>